My name is Ogyan Bostin from Kagumo High School, Nyeri County. Prisante Soyo from Masino School, Kisumu County. Mavino Mondi from Kabianga High School, Kericho County. Nobert Cage from Maranda High School, Tiaya County. Peri Sashera from Bishop Gatimo Ganu Girls in Nyeri County. I'm Roya Mondi. I'm a Kenyan. I'm from Nyangori Bunsa School. InterSwitch Spark is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. When driven by passion and insatiable curiosity, we can achieve greatness. These six contestants are ready to take a step that will define their futures. This is InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition. Hello and welcome to InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition and thank you for taking this journey with us. Today marks the end of the preliminary stage. These are the final six contestants eyeing for two spots at the semi-finals. They have equal chances, they have what it takes, but which two will make it? We will soon find out on InterSwitch SPAC National Science Competition. Penicillin, ethanol, flour, sugar, glue, whiskey, corn silk, starch, oil, livestock feed, all from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper and to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. On each episode of The Prelims, we have shown you a documentary video that highlights the life and achievements of a STEM genius. Today, we are yet to discover who is our InterSwitch Park Hero of the Week. And it's now time to find out. Evans Wadongo is a Kenyan engineer, inventor and philanthropist. Born to parents who were teachers in the rural area, Evans had to walk long distances to school every day. This, however, did not affect his academic excellence as he graduated from secondary school with top marks. This got him listed among the top 100 students in the KCSE examinations of the year 2002. He continued to pursue his quest for education by attending Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, where he graduated in July 2009 with a Bachelor of Science Honours in Electronics and Computer Engineering. Evans used his innovative and critical thinking mind to design a solar lamp to ease the economic, environmental and educational problems facing the community in which he grew up and other rural areas in Kenya. He named the lamp Mwanga Bora, which is Swahili for good light. Evans is the recipient of several awards such as CNN's Top 10 Heroes in 2010, one of the three recipients of the inaugural Mikhail Gorbachev Awards for the man who changed the world. In 2011, the Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award by the Schwab Foundation, the African International Achievers Award in 2012, and the Outstanding Social Entrepreneur in Africa Award at the Africa Awards for Entrepreneurship held in Mauritius in 2013. Evans Wadongo's journey from a rural area to being one of the most recognized people in the world will definitely spark up innovation and excellence in many young Kenyans. We are not to forget where we come from. 
Evans made sure that he came up with innovations that helped his community. To you, Chris, where do you come from? I come from Kisumu County. Kisumu County. Yes. Kisumu bad. Kisumu. You know that song? Yes. Please sing the next lines. Ite Rajani Kisumu. What does those mean? It's a long. Uh, it means take me to see Kisumu. Direct translation, that is. Ah, take me to see Kisumu. Yes. Kisumu. Bear means good, right? Yeah. All right. So as you've seen, Evans has impacted his community. In your area, what have you seen and you'd like to improve? Uh, in my area, one biggest problem is uh, the issue of water shortage. Uh, it has affected sanitation and the level of cleanliness. So I'd like to come up with better ways of tapping water and uh, new water sources efficient. Yeah. Right, that is good and I hope you get to do it and better help the lives of people living in Kisumu County. To our six contestants, this game is played in two levels, the foundation round and the advanced round. For questions in this round, the first three students to get the answer correct will earn the maximum 10 points. Any other student after this first three will earn five points. At the end of this round, Four of you with the highest cumulative scores and the fastest response times will be moving on to the advanced round. Question one of the foundation round. Which of the following is a noble gas? Helium, lithium, beryllium, oxygen. Which one is a noble gas? The correct answer is a, helium. All our contestants got that right. <laughs> Question two. Find the coefficient of x, y in the expansion of three into brackets, three x minus four x, y. Is it minus 12, 12, nine, or minus nine? The correct answer is A. Two contestants got it right. Moving on to question three. In the image shown, the process evaporation is represented by, is it one, four, two, or three? Evaporation, what is it represented by in this image? Option D is the correct answer. Let's give it up to our six contestants, they all got it right. <laughs> Question four. Which of the following is a strong acid? H3PO4, H2CO3, HNO3, or H2SO3? Which is a strong acid? Four contestants got it right, while two got it wrong. Best of luck in the next question. Chris, are you ready for question five? I'm ready. Here it comes. The part of the wave labelled B is wavelength, amplitude, trough or crest. What part is labelled B? The trough is the correct answer. That is option C. Three contestants got it right while three got it wrong. Question six brings us to the halfway point of the foundation round. Here it comes. Plants growing on sand are called chasmophytes, lithophytes, ox oxylophytes or samophytes. Quite some interesting terms here. Marvin, what is the correct answer? I think the correct answer is some of it. Right. Congratulations to the two of you. The others got it wrong. This now brings us to the halfway point of the foundation round. Let's take a breather. Six questions to go after this. Now you too can be a Sparkster. How? Just play and win in this week's InterSwitch Spark Home Quiz. The household product that is produced by adding concentrated sodium hydroxide to hot palm oil is A. Soap B. Margarine C. Paint or D. Weed Killers Text A. 
B C or D to 0793763453 on WhatsApp and you could become one of the boxers to win this week's prize. Entry closes on Friday. Only winners will be contacted. Interswitch Spark Home Quiz is powered by Interswitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. This is Interswitch Spark National Science Competition proudly brought to you by Interswitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. We're down with 6 questions. Another 6 await us. Before we proceed, let's take a look at how you fared so far. 60 points followed by 45, 40, 20 and 2 have tied at 15 points. Here is question 7. If a equals 3, evaluate 3 plus 2a to the power of 2. Is it 18? Is it 15? Is it 39? Is it 21? a equals 3. What is 3 plus 2a squared? The correct answer is a D, and all our contestants got it right. We're moving on now to question 8. Which of these devices is a lever? Is it the screw jack? Is it the inclined plane, the nutcracker or the axe? Which of these devices is a lever? Austin, how can you describe a lever? I, th I think a lever is a simple machine that has three parts that consist of the load, the fulcrum and the effort. You definitely got that right. together with one more contestant which means only four of you didn't get that right this is question 9 which of this is not a scalar quantity is it length is it volume acceleration or density which is not a scalar quantity and your period what is the answer to this question Acceler acceleration That is correct and everyone got it right. <laughs> Question 10. In which labeled part can the poison fungs be found? Is it A, 1, B, 3, C, 4 or D, 2? Where are the poison fungs in this insect? The correct answer is A. Four contestants got it right. Congratulations. Here is question 11. Solve for x in the image shown. Is it 20, 27, 30 or 18? Solve for x. You can see an acute angle and an obtuse angle. Austin, you're the only contestant who got that right. I wish you all the best as you attempt question 12. Which of the following is not a monosaccharide? Is it ribose, glucose, fructose or maltose? Which is not a monosaccharide? Two contestants got it right while four did not get the correct answer. And that brings us to the end of the foundation round, which means that we are soon to find out which two contestants are going home and which four get to proceed with this competition and move to the advanced round in first position with 90 points give it up for nobot <laughs> paris and roy it's been a tough journey you made it this far but unfortunately This is the end of your spark journey. I wish you all the best in future. Let's give it up for them. As you can see in second place with 85 points was Marvin, in third place Chris Oyo with 65 points and Austin had 50 points. We are about to move on to the advanced round. But only two can move to the semi-finals. Let's find out after this. penicillin ethanol flour sugar glue whiskey corn silk starch oil livestock feed 
all from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper. And to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Welcome back. It's InterSwitch Spark National Science Competition. This is the final preliminary stage, and we have four contestants who are ready to take on questions in the advanced round. For us to determine the order of play in this round, we need to take a turn. Today, our take a turn question is a code breaker. Here comes the take a turn code breaker question. The hint is the father of evolution, and the code is 327946. Our contestants are trying to figure out what is this? How to decipher the code? Chris Oyo has already deciphered the code. Marvin Omonde, you're the second contestant. We're now waiting on Norbert and Austin. Who will be the third and the fourth? And we have Norbert at number three and Austin at number four. The answer to the Take a Turn code breaker is Darwin. Charles Robert Darwin, 1809 to 1882, was a British naturalist and biologist best known for his theory of evolution based on natural selection. He proposed that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors. Based on the sequence in which your answers came in, Chris Oyo, you'll be going first, Marvin, you'll be going second, and Norbert third, while Austin will be going fourth. Chris, are you ready? Chris, and I'm ready to spark. Chris, now is your time to spark. The movement of organisms out of a habitat is called? Migration. Immigration. The death rate of organisms in an environment is termed as? Uh, pass. What does RNA stand for? Ribonucleic acid. What kind of feeding mechanism do cockroaches pass. exhibit? How many proteins are in the fluoride pass. ion F minus? On the periodic table, what period does chlorine 17 Cl belong? Period 8. Pass. Who founded the Green Belt Movement? Ongari Matai. After independence, Kenya became a one-party state in Pass. one year. When A equals 4, evaluate A squared minus 21. Minus 5. If A equals 6 and B equals 4, evaluate into brackets A plus B over A minus B. Uh, pass. The movement of organisms out of a habitat is called... Migration. Marvin, it's now your turn. Are you ready? I'm ready to spark. Marvin, now is your time to spark. The degree of concentration of salt solution in water is termed as? Pass. What type of soil has a high proportion of organic matter? Pass. An aqueous solution with a pH of 7 is referred Neutral. to as a what solution? How many orbitals are there in D subshell? Five. Which spot was Violeta Windy Baraza famous for? Pass. Which spot did Paul Wakesa become famous for playing? Football. A nebonite rod rubbed with far produces what charge? Negative. What device is used for measuring the flow of current? Um, pass. Make y the subject to the formula in x equals 2y minus 7. Y is, equals to, y is equals to x plus 7 over 2. Factorize q to the power q, of 2. Q into, q into q plus 7p, minus 7p. All right. Nobat, you're next up. Are you ready? My name is Nobat and I'm ready to spark. Nobat, now is your time to spark. What is the oxidation number of nitrogen in N2O5? Ten. Which element has the configuration 2,4? Oxygen. Frequency is a derivative of which quantity? Pass. What work is done when a force of 20 newtons moves a distance of 20 meters? Those. After independence, what year was the first Kenya multi-party election held? 1982. Who was credited with the planting of trees of peace across Wangari Kenya? Madai. What is the unit of resistance? Ohms. The rate of flow of electric charge in a material is termed as? Current. Find the value of x if x squared minus 25 equals 0. 5. Simplify and factorize a squared minus 7a plus a. a into a, into a minus 7 plus 1. Austin, yes. comparing this round and the foundation round, what can you say? 
I can say that uh, the second round is a bit tighter. I can guarantee that you're a tough one and you can crack this one. Austin, are yes. you ready? My name is Austin and I am ready to spark. Austin, now is your time to spark. The arrangement of soil particles describes which soil characteristic? Soil structure. Which instrument is used to collect tiny organisms that live in soil water? Uh, pass. What is the oxidation number of oxygen in H2O2? Two. What is the hardest form of carbon? Di diamond. What phenomenon causes the surface of a liquid to behave like a stretched elastic skin? Surface tension. Beyond what point does an elastic material become plastic? Elastic elasticity. Which sport is David Rudisha famous for? David Rudisha Athletics. The black color on the Kenyan flag represents? The people. A crate of eggs contains 30 eggs. If any of them are broken, how many eggs are left? None. Subtract 18 from the product of minus 6 and 3. Zero. That is it for Austin. We have now come to the end of the advanced round. Austin, you have tied at 100 points with Marvin, which means that between Chris and Norbert, one has already made it to the semi-finals. Norbert, it's been a tight race. Not everyone can make it. Fortunately for you, you have made it. Unfortunately, Chris, this is the end of your Spark journey. You've done incredibly well. Don't dismiss this. Congratulations for this far. And now with the emergence of Norbert at the highest points of 120 points, Austin and Marvin are waiting for the sudden end segment. Here the first to the buzzer will have five seconds to attempt the sudden end question. Here is the other sudden end question. The concentration of a solution in gram per dm cubed is termed as Marvin, you're the first to the buzzer. What is it? Mole. Marvin, you said mole? Yes. That was not the correct answer, which means Austin automatically qualifies for the semi-finals. <laughs> Marvin, indeed, you have done well. But here is the end of your spark journey. Please, give it up for Marvin as he exits the stage. Congratulations to you, Austin and Norbert. Sir Isaac Newton said that no great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. I urge us to be curious so that we can be able to spark up innovations in future. We've come to the end of the preliminary stage. I'd like to thank you for joining us through this journey. Make it a date with us next week as we begin the semi-finals. It gets tougher, but it's still educative, it's still fun. I've been your host, and this is Interswitch Spark National Competition. Yeah.